Hello everyone, so I've just received my uh, package from uh, horselovers.com and I am about to open it. So I'm gonna go get a pair of scissors and gonna open it. Here it is, just open it. A lot of bubble wrap there. So here's the papers for the review and some more stuff. So. Let's get started. Well, here it is all. Um, there's a lot of things. Uh, as I said before, so I'm gonna pass them one by one with uh, the prices and names of what well, I got. Let's go on with uh, my riding crop. Uh, it's a 24 inches from Tough One. I don't know if you can see anything with the flash on here. Maybe if I... Ah, uh, there. Tough One. Um... So I paid it five dollars, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Next is a bit. Uh, it's a five and a half inches. Uh, it's from Coronet um, International. Um, it's a full cheek with a slow twist, and um, I paid it uh twenty six dollars I'd say yeah twenty six dollars next is a uh little rubber scrubby mitten uh which I use for um like bathing the horses and uh I paid it three fifty and it's hunter green to go with the rest of my brushes and stuff and it has like little glitters I didn't know that but I mean it's, it's so fine. next is my sweat scraper uh it's really small actually I didn't no, it would be that small, but I don't really mind because uh, it'll do the job for uh, small spaces such as legs and stuff like that. It's hunter green as well, and um, I paid it like three dollars. So I mean, I'm really not really like mad that it's that small, and it has a little rubber bend here, so it does the job. Next are little snaps. Uh, they are double-ended, and I paid them one dollar something. Like they are three twenty for two, and uh, I actually use them um, for my buckets uh, on the show uh, places. There, I just like hang the buckets. Next, I have two pairs of socks, which are ar argyle. Um, I have purple, and it's grey and beige, and those ones are from Gatsby, Gatsby, whatever, I don't know how you pronounce that. And I got them for 361 and those are from Tough Rider, as you can tell. And I got them for uh, 237 And what I love about them, they, they, quite, they look quite the same actually, is that the uh, toes here and heels are reinforced. Um, so, you know... It gets like it's better for writing. Next is my uh, Lick It apple flavored. Uh, it's the little one, uh, 250 uh, grams, and uh, I paid it for 50. Uh, there were some that were like three dollars, but I mean, a friend of I uh, told me that um, apple were the best, so I got one of those. Next is my Tough One Fly Veil. Um, it's navy and it's in horse size. Um, I paid it for a 490. Yeah, 490. And um, I really, really like it. I mean, it's well, like for the price though, it's really good quality. It looks really strong and the um, material that covers the ears is really, really light. So in summer, I, I I think it'll do like really good because horses tend to sweat a little too much there, and it's not really needed. So yeah, it's gonna go with my uh, navy pads there. Next are my my uh, centaur bags. Uh, I have the garment bag and the bridle bag. Uh, they didn't had the um, boots and helmet bags in that color, which is uh, blue corn plaid. And they're kind of um, waterproof, and it's not like it's really thin, really nice looking as well. Uh, I paid the bridal bag uh, thirty dollars and the garment bag uh, twenty seven, 
and you have a little place here to put like your name or whatever on and in the bridal bag you have little like velcro straps here I don't know if you can see there so you can hang uh, bridles, martingales, uh, halters as well I guess and pretty much anything you want and you have a strap at the top to just hang it on a hook or whatever and you have a little one loop here so that's for this one and for the garment bag you actually have like the same thing to put your name in and here you have a hook to hook it to somewhere whatever and the inside is pretty much the same it's like a I don't know not plastic but it kind of looks like it and you have a hole here to put like the hangers and stuff there so it's from Centaur and uh, I'm really looking for a place to buy uh, the tall boots and the um, helmet bag so if you know a place that ships to Canada or USA please tell me I'm really looking for them next I got the top one traveling rack uh, it's a black rack with uh, four hooks the two on the top just you can hang them like to a stall or whatever and um, I paid it uh, $5.95 well six dollars and it looks like just like a normal normal tack rack and uh, yeah for a belt, it's a uh, one inch belt with stitched patterns here. Um, I got it in the size 38, I think, which is pretty uh, through to size. And um, I paid it uh, $25. And uh, I have other belts from Tori, and this one is quite thin. I'm gonna show you the difference with the other one and it looks a bit more cheap and less large here. I don't know if you can see the letter is kind of, I don't know, it's weird. It's not like the usual quarterly I'd say from Tori but whatever it's gonna do the job. Um, the thing is that, well I'm gonna show you the other one and explain you like the difference. Okay so here is my other uh, Tori belt. Um, I don't know if you can tell but, I mean, that's the new one I just bought, that's the one I bought like a year ago, and that one is way much thinner, but that one has kind of a bump here, which kind of explains it, if not, they look quite the same. Now, for the quality, I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, that one has more like wrinkles and stuff like that, but... Yeah, whatever. The stitching looks pretty good actually, which is quite cool. And for the ew, wait here, that one is larger than this one here. But I mean, I, I think I prefer that one because that one I'll have it at the waist, uh, at the hips, and that one at the waist because it's a thirty-four, I think. Yeah, 34. So that's the difference why I needed a longer belt. I also got a cap. Uh, it's navy with a kind of white line here and white uh, design on the top. It's a, a, how do they call it? Kelly Jumper Horse Crawl Cap. It's navy in stone, but whatever. And um, I mean, it's like normal cap, I'd say, and you can adjust it on, on however you want it to have it. Uh, I paid uh, $19 for it, and I really love it. Um, it's quite light, so, you know, in summer, that's something you want to look at, and you have, like, little holes in here, so, you know, your hair can breathe a little. I then got some Shoshin. It's the 32 ounces for $17. Well, $16.30. Um, it's the Showing Shine with hair polish and detangler. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. It's the spray uh, once, not the refill, as I needed a spray bottle. So, yeah. Um, when I passed my order uh, at Horse Lovers, uh, the Rio Vista uh, shampoos and conditioners and whatever were in sale. So, I got the tail main for uh, actually free. Um, it was like six or seven dollars at first. And uh, yeah, so 
it's the tail and mane, it's 16 ounces. And I got some equine shampoo, I don't know if you can see something, and it's the uh, 32 ounces. I got it for $6, it was in sale as I just said, and uh, I've never really used it, so I'm going to do a re review on it uh, when I'll use it, but um, I've been told it was quite a good brand, so, you know, it's just shampoo. So yeah. Three buckets. Uh, all green. Uh, the big one here, the 20 uh, quarts, was supposed to be like hunter green, but it turned out it's more of a grass green. Uh, I paid it eight dollars, and um, it's pretty like it's flat back, and uh, you can see you have like measurements here just to see like how much your horse drank, and it's quite quite a uh, like strong, and the small ones which are a um, Eight quarts. Uh, I got them for five dollars twenty each. Uh, they are also flat back. I'm not really, you know, wasn't like a requirement for myself. And the, uh, I don't know if you can see something. Professional, professional firm grade. And the big one is from Fertiflex, which is a quite known brand around. So yeah, that's about it this for a friend uh, her horse that she is showing uh, when he's braided he tends to rub and pull the hair and stuff and also bleed sometimes so um, we got him hood um, it's from Shires and uh, we paid it $53.95 US which is about like 62 Canadian uh, it's in like baby blue. We would have wanted to have it like black or navy or something like that, but it was the only color uh, offered. And here is the size chart. Um, and we wrote to the company because we didn't have that on the website. And um, I told them the horse was wearing a 76 size uh, blanket. And it's only to get medium, but the horse in question is 16.2 hands high which would have been like more of a large so I don't know we're gonna try it on tomorrow and we're gonna see if it works or not if it doesn't then we probably are going to return it or ask them to send us a good size for it because they didn't ask like the height of the holes to just ask for the size of the blanket which is quite a bit like weird because it's not obviously not like the blanket more than the neck and head that anyways so yeah that's about it